So let's add a QA group. I added QA group, uh, but this is not I am expecting. So I will cancel this. I want to make a root to the, uh, child to the root. So select here, add the QA, click on finish button, and now I have added, and that is 10%. You can increase its maximum size as per your requirement but that means for each queue what are the size you are defining for the capacity so that is minimum capacity that many it is like the that is kind of sla available so that much memory will be available for this particular section if suppose your support is uh, support other users are not available and support is came and they are using the, your full memory so what will happen so this will create a SLA issues and to overcome so we can set this maximum capacity and capacity parameters currently we can see all of them are running default have the zero value so if if none of the queue is configured the default queue will be uh, automatically configured by the system with a hundred percent capacity so you can change these parameters and after changing this parameter you can do the save and refresh queues there is one more interesting thing about the queues. Suppose for the sales, I have the two departments. Okay, I can add some more child. I want to make sales as a parent. So in order to make sales as a parent, we can add the some more queues. Suppose sales have Dave. I'll add Dave. So here, I have to make suppose sixty percent. So sixty percent of this sixty, or let me make. 70% so 70% of the 60% memory will be used for the development if I add some more queues let's select cells and add QA for the cells so I added this queue for cells and automatically selected the 30 because 100 minus, 100 minus 70 that is 30 percent will be allocated to the QA particularly for the cells even I can make uh, Dave as a child also uh, Dave as a parent also just select that and add queue so there is no limit to this level how many levels you can go and add those so let's go back and do the save and refresh action you can add the node we added the queues make the changes and we are done with the setting for the queues the percentage for the capacity and maximum uh, capacity and maximum capacity you can ch choose as per your requirement. There is uh, these guidelines has to be standardized as per your how much data you are going to process on each uh, level or at at each queue. I hope by this uh, we can con conclude that our uh, today's session. We have seen how to uh, see the queue manager, how to add the queues how to change the capacity and maximum capacity, how to check the running state, how to check the resource manager and what are the processes are running. And I I've, uh, I hope this is definitely going to help you to understand this resource manager and the queue capacity. Um, if you have any questions about Hadoop, you can mention in the video below. Thank you for watching my video. You can subscribe my channel for more interesting video on the Hadoop. Have a nice time.